Hodovas 2 is hilariously good. And I don't mean that in a jokeful way. It just literally is. Oh my. The sequel released only five days ago, garnering an insane 20,000 mostly positive reviews within a period of three days, which is how many reviews the original got but over the last nine years. Arrowhead Game Studios must have done something right this time, because the original, just what the hell am I looking at? Okay, I'm sorry, my bad. It seems the fans of Helldivers are quite loyal to say the least. Democracy, our way of life. <coughs> Back to what I was saying. Helldivers was action packed and filled with opportunity, but now there's a sequel, so it must be a thousand times better, right? And you'd be correct. So let's take this and replace it with this. Helldivers 2. This game brings players a fast-paced and chaotic third-person shooter like never before. Releasing both on PlayStation 5 and PC, the game instantly assigns you the role of an elite soldier, known as a Helldiver. Helldivers are a part of the Strategium Supreme Command, a galactic military organization tasked with defending Super-Earth, a planet once called the homeland of humanity from various alien threats, or as the Helldiver community likes to say, democracy and freedom. Launching from your ship, you'll have various missions to complete to help liberate your homeland from its ruins. Armed with two weapons, grenades, and your own list of deployable abilities, called strategiums, you'll take part in missions ranging from setting up communication links to eradicating alien infested areas, each with their own difficulty and rewards. So don't worry, this game will get you the action packed dopamine fix that you crave, being able to grind the game and unlock a ton of things along the way, such as ranks. Starting off as a cadet, you'll be able to level up and achieve higher ranks. They won't help you in any way, but hey, no one said a little roleplay can't hurt. Why can't I be a space cadet? The Battle Pass. As you play, you unlock medals. In turn, you can spend these on items in the game's free Battle Pass. Or if you're still not broke after buying the $60 game, I'm Australian so please spare me, then you can buy the premium Battle Pass for roughly $10. And I will admit, some of the items do look pretty solid for that price, especially the weapons. And then Strategiums. Remember those deployable abilities I was talking about? Well, back of your ship, there's a lot of them. And they're waiting to take your hard-earned liberated money. Whether it's an orbital cannon or a robotic guard dog, Strategiums can be insanely fun to try out and incredibly helpful when it comes to completing the more challenging missions. But hold on. This isn't necessarily a game you want to play solo. Well, you can, but with a friend, it's just so much better. And I don't say that statement lightly. Helldivers 2 was intended to be played as a multiplayer game, and many of its best experiences are waiting behind that paywall that your friends haven't broken yet. And trust me when I say this, there will be moments when your friends turn on you, shoot you, absolutely annihilate you. Oh. But it's worth it, because in the end, you'll have people there to help liberate your homeland. And isn't that just so special? Co-op also allows you to experiment way more, fighting all sorts of creatures with different weapons and strategiums, which is very handy, because it can be quite difficult to type in a strategium code when you're playing solo and have a swarm of bugs chasing you. Not only that, it's hilarious. You make tons of mistakes and so will your friends, but with the Helldiver franchise, that's where the real gold is at, figuring out what the hell is going on and learning from it. Having creatures of all sizes around the place, and the ability to unleash utter chaos at your fingertips makes the game all the worthwhile. Whether you're placing down defenses like turrets, resupplying on ammunition, or calling in cluster strikes on the battlefield, there won't be a point in the game where you can relax, aside from when you're back of the ship with the boys. I mean, there's even bug infestations every few minutes. Also, don't worry if you have no friends to play this with. It has online matchmaking as well, which hopefully isn't too bad. I haven't tried it out myself. Overall, Helldivers 2 proves itself to be a spectacle, a game with endless opportunities awaiting to be experienced. But what do its players actually think so far? Well, I've read several hundred reviews and they were as follows. For the negative reviews, the main components were surrounding online matchmaking, trouble joining lobbies, and game crashes. 
with in total over 10,000 negative reviews. Then for the positive reviews, the main discussions were just surrounding how fun the game was and overall what I've spoken about previously, with in total over 35,000 positive reviews. So it seems that majority of Helldivers 2's players are having a great time. And if we go back to the negative reviews, those are generally common issues when it comes to launching a game, so I doubt it'll take too long to fix. This game is both immersive and hilarious at times, making for the perfect combination. It gives me the amount of fun I have whilst playing games like Lethal Company, and that's pretty hard to beat. But before I end the video, here's a match showcasing how insane the game really is. Yo, what? Running grenade. Uh, it's alright, trust. Oh my. Reflecting air. Uh, they're all dead, though. <laughs> Gotta double check, mate. Run, 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 I hope that wasn't too close. They yeah, were good. Two. I haven't got any weapons. I've got annihilated. Oh, bro, okay. Oh my. <laughs> you tell me. Oh my. Bro, it wants me. I'm going down. Humble sacrifice. If I leave this area, I'm gonna. Oh. 